This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with Kevin Arnold, founder of the company Open Aura. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and I'm here with uh, Kevin Arnold, founder and CEO of Open Aura. So hi Kevin and thanks for joining me, how's it going? Uh, great, thanks, yeah, it's fun to be back in Austin. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, Open Aura is a new project that you have, so first of all, tell us all about it, what is it? Um, essentially, Open is a platform that aggregates and syndicates or distributes content centered around artist identity, essentially uh, anything in digital form. Um, that represents who the artist is, trying to really focus on uh, moving beyond the traditional, uh, what we consider to be the 1980s version of artist identity, the bio and photo, into a, a much broader uh, and full comprehensive set of any information created by or about the artist. So essentially, the artist is allowed to then curate and manage all of this content, publish it out to the places where its fans are engaging with them, and during the process, make money from it. Yeah, and sure, and for people that don't know you, uh, your background is at IOTA, of course, uh, and so uh, did that inform the start of this company, and how did you get the idea for it? Yeah, it, it's interesting that I came to understand it eventually, um, actually just maybe a few months ago, how really similar it was to IOTA in a sense. And I've only just begun to speak about it as, a, as an aggregation platform. But um, it, yeah, it did come out of IOTA, I think, in, in a sense, uh, post the uh, merger with The Orchard in uh, spring of 2012. I spent uh, a year working with Sony Music on essentially some very high-level problems around uh, the, the, that the industry is facing. Essentially, what can we do to create uh, more engaging fan experiences around music online to sort of yeah. evolve the music user experience and a goal of um, increasing subscriptions and more more uh, fan engagement online and uh, it, it came out of it came out of that work and eventually was spun out into uh, into a new company but it wasn't uh, until after we started thinking about it it was really okay it's an artist identity platform or it's a, a platform for creating new types of fan experiences uh, aggregation wasn't the original goal but it turns out that that was the secret to us to be able to uh, start building out the platform and, and bring all the content to life so the way they in which it's gonna work it's got a, it's got a, a big focus on it APIs as well, yes. uh, the company. So how how did that come about, and how are you planning to integrate that in order to make money for the artists that are on the platform? Yeah, well, fundamentally, our, our product is APIs that um, publish indexes or, or information, pointers to content that the artist has curated that they feel best represents them. Yeah. So um, it's, it, it is really fundamental from a technology standpoint. We do a few different things. One is go out and, and try and identify and analyze all of the content that exists about an artist in open, open and social content, context. But um, a, a large part of the platform is also bringing what the artist owns and creates into the platform as well as what anybody else has created about the artist. So that essentially you've got the, the full set of content um, at the uh, artist's disposal to communicate better with the fan. Yeah, sure. And so, uh, well, tell me about the process. So, an artist wants to join uh, or, or Open Aura. How, how does it work? How, how do they get into it? Yeah, so, it's essential. It's it's as easy as going to our website, which is openaura.com, and you'll see a, a big search box right at the top there. What we want an artist to do is come in and search for themselves, and and discover what we've already done for them, which is create uh, what we call the default digital aura for the artist. So, we've already gone out and uh, hopefully identified all of an artist artist's social accounts, all of the open sources like Wikipedia, where information is, yeah. and then we harvest and analyze all of that to create it, what we call a default aura, and then the artist comes in, claims the, their aura, logs in via Twitter or Facebook, and at that point we are trusting that if you could log into their social accounts that you are the artist, and uh, then the artist is in control. Yeah, sure. And from, from a legal perspective, uh, uh, branding is a very interesting uh, uh, thing and, and it's different from country to country. I know that uh, you know, uh, lawyers in, in the UK may recommend different things to lawyers in the US when it comes sure. to actually acquiring you, the ownership of your brand as a band or as an artist. So uh, in that sense, I guess uh, Open Aura may really come in handy to establishing yourself as your own brand uh, out there and be able to make a case for that as well. 
Yes, absolutely. I mean, in a, in a sense, I think that it, and most artists do spend a lot of time curating and cultivating their brand. Um, the the interesting thing about it is that it, it happens in a very fragmented and sort of chaotic way. There's content of different types, video, songs, information, images, and they're spread and published in many different places around the world. So while we, we think of this identity as, a, as um, a real sort of descriptive and fundamental part of who an artist is, it's actually quite spread out and fragmented around the world. One of the things that, that we do in getting started is just to come out and try and really understand after 10 or 20 years of internet and social content creation, who, who is this person as defined by all of this information about them? Yeah. And once you have that look and understand if you can go and you know any, any user can search for and browse any artist in the system, yeah. it's quite a different look of, of the artist, one that we feel actually is much more representative of who they truly are and what they're really doing. You know, this, this content that they're creating and, and interacting with every day is, uh, you know, it's a, a much more intimate view of the artist, we feel, than the uh, formal bio and photo. While yeah. still important, there's a lot much, a lot more out there that uh, contributes to this identity. Yeah. And so, uh, have you got any partnerships already in place? Uh, or otherwise, what would be your ideal uh, uh, partner for this venture? Yeah. So, we look, uh, as far as customers or partners for the API, it's really anybody who's creating an, an, an application or an experience around music or an artist. Uh, essentially, we say any screen between an artist and a fan, which of course starts with music players and uh, DSPs and, and digital music stores, but also uh, ticketing websites, blogs, merchandising, any 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 place, magazines online, yeah. that you might read about or experience an artist's content. So we think very broadly in that sense. Yeah. Um, first customers for us, we're, uh, we're talking to dozens of companies out there and we're about to uh, just launch the public beta of our API. Great. And we aren't quite ready to talk about it, but sure. by the time the people might be seeing this, there uh, should be some news about uh, our first partners. That's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, uh, what do you think about South by Southwest this year? And uh, uh, are you looking for partners here? And, and the, you know, what is the general vibe for you? Yeah, it's it's exciting this year, and it's fun for me coming back after having you know been here for more than a decade. I think uh, over the course of IOTA and and other endeavors, um, is it's great to be back with something new and with a new set of eyes, right? Being too busy, yeah, it is, it is, and you, you sort of see everything through a different lens. Our focus here is is yes with um, music services and other customer uh, customer um, potentials, but also uh, a lot of conversations with artist managers and labels, right? So the platform is is really meant to you know, it's been built from within the industry and yeah. in partnership with the industry. We obviously came from the label world and, and in my past, many, uh, you know, much experience and relationships with the independent label landscape, a super important part of the equation. Um, but also artist management are really at the core here. It's, it's the artist that uh, itself, you know, has, has the right in, inherently to curate this identity and bring it to bear. Um, and so it's it's a great new landscape for me, meeting a lot of the, the great artist managers out there. I mean, I've I, I had a pretty good set of, of contacts and relationships, but it's a, a broad new world. So yeah, we've uh, got very full schedules as we try and uh, yeah. meet with as many people as we can to spread the word. And it's a good time to move into this space as well with this new angle as well. We're seeing acquisitions like that of the Econest last week. So Yeah, it's been a very exciting couple of weeks uh, yeah. or, or week, I guess, for, um, for the space. And you know we're we're brand new, just entering. Um, you know, primarily, uh, you know, core for us at South by this year is the the music hackathon that they're hosting the first one of, and it's also the debut of our our uh, public beta API. And you know, we've been building this platform for a long time, and just very excited to uh, to get it into the hands of developers, uh, alongside some other great companies that will be participating, like Echo Nest and Grace Note and Spotify and others, uh, and see what people can build because. That's great. So you're part of the hackathon. Yes, yeah, awesome. yeah. We're uh, yes, and um, you know, from that standpoint, uh, the API is unique in that there there aren't very many. Well, there aren't any uh, open APIs that offer authentic artist information and content that the artist really wants you to see, along with all of this other social and information that's been posted about them. So we're really excited to see what people will build. That's fantastic. And so, uh, can you give us a website for for developers or people that are interested in the product? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the website's www.openor.com and uh, the developer site will uh, be up and available at developers.openor.com uh, starting Wednesday, I believe. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. And thanks for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest. You can find out everything on digitalmusictrends.com.